For an amazing squad on FIFA 16, link is in the description for cheap and safe coins. Hey guys, my name is Suti and welcome to episode 7 of this Road to Glory series. As you can see, we need 3 more wins to win the Division 3 title and get into Division 2. I ask you if you want me to do 10 matches per episode or 5. And of course, with 8000 subscribers, we are gonna get different opinions. But most of you wanted me to do 5, so that's what I did. Let's go! First goal, we see some great uh, dribbling there with Ronaldo. We used the printing trick right there and the L1 quick stop as well to get a great pass into Bale. And I think he really opened with some great goal. And I hate the goalkeeper of Real Madrid. Every other goalkeeper would have saved that. I think against Norrie, you're never gonna score that. But it wasn't a bad shot, it was a decent shot from our opponent. Again, we used the sprinting trick, which got us the 2 to 1 goal in here against Bayern Munich, of course. We are playing. But I think the goal we conceded is very much due to our goalkeeper. But anyway, we're gonna get the goal in here. 3 to 1 lead. It's always more comfortable to be leading with two goals. I hate leading with only one goal, actually. But we're gonna get the goal again after we apply the pressure, and the opponent is gonna get punished for his terrible mistake. 4 to 1, that means the opponent is gonna rage quit, and the second opponent already against. Juventus, which I think may be one of the best teams of FIFA. I think the defense, the goalkeeper, if you combine the goalkeeper and the defense, I think that is better than uh, Real Madrid's defense and goalkeeper. And I think the midfield is better as well. Also, if they've got Diabala, who's great on FIFA in my opinion, but they lack one star player like Ronaldo. If Real Madrid didn't have Ronaldo, I think Juventus may actually be the better team. But we see it's already 2-0 after we use another time the sprinting trick right there with Ronaldo to get the goal in there. And Benzema is through on the wing. We use uh, some direction changes. We ball roll that back in, pass it across the goal. Easy tapping of course for Ronaldo. We should be able to finish. Then the opponent wins the bumpy situation, wins another bumpy situation. Yet again wins the bumpy situation. And you can see where this is going. This ball is going to end up in the net after... Not great defending with Ramos, I have to admit that, but the opponent got uh, quite a lot of times lucky there. We apply the pressure here, and again, this opponent doesn't have a solution for it either. Not even that bad try to pass it uh, to the other side, but Bill intercepts that, and of course we're going to punish him. But even after that, he could have still corrected that, but he decided to step out with the center back, which was a terrible decision really, and we punished him for that with the driven pass and the easy tap in with Ronaldo. Purpose spin right here, pass that into Danilo and that of course is an obvious for a penalty kick. They do not get more obvious than that and I think that should actually be a direct red card. But he's gonna get the second yellow for that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And of course I always shoot them high through the middle here yet again. Why change the strategy which is always, almost always gonna work. And I'm 5 one up, my focus is a little bit down. And we're actually gonna get outplayed by the goalkeeper after not some great defending. And it's only the 5-2, to 3 goal lead. And of course you want more goals because the opponent didn't race quit yet and therefore we are able to score the 6th goal in here when the goalkeeper decides to come out all the way. That should be a PK but luckily the ref gives us the advantage and therefore it's an easy tap in for Ronaldo. 6-2 that's how the match ended. The next match against Barcelona. If we win this match we get the Division 3 title and we're gonna get into Division 2. And in the first minute already we're gonna intercept the ball, do the sprinting trick, all the space in the world now at Ronaldo. But it looks like we have to do the turning trick and we're gonna get the penalty for that if the opponent is too aggressive. I notice if you do the turning trick, you quite often get some lucky penalties, and we get it here again. 1 to nil again. We shoot the penalty high through the middle. And here's some great defending. We saw that pass coming. We intercept that with Carvajal, and now it's time for the counter attack. We give the ball back to Modric, and look at that great through ball to Ronaldo. All the space in the world now at Bale. We spot that, we give him the ball, and Bale doesn't miss from there. A great at shooting, of course, 2 to nil in the 20th minute. Now the 26th minute, we're gonna pass the ball. All the way from the goalkeeper, this pass was actually meant for the right fullback, but it gets at Bale anyways. We give him the ball back after we use the middleman technique from my Tiki Taka tutorial. We again use the sprinting boost twice, and this is a clip from that very tutorial, from my sprinting trick tutorial, which got us the 3 to nil in the 26th minute, and the opponent is gonna rage quit, and that is how we got the Division 3 title. So we are now in Division 2, guys. Let's go our first Division 2 match from this Road to Glory series. Against Bayern Munich, we get the ball 
to Benzema. I do the fake shot stop for protecting the ball. I didn't know the opponent was gonna do a sliding. But then I noticed we are sprinting against Lam, and we should be able to beat him. And then when he's too aggressive, we beat him with the sprinting trick. And we're gonna actually pass that with the middleman technique into Bale. 180 degree scoop turn, which is a great method of scoring goals. And my next tutorial will actually be about the scoop turn, how to pull it off every time. You do not want to do a fake shot in those situations. You want to do a 180 degree scoop turn, which is great for getting goals in there. And we're already through on the wing again with Bill. And this is also a clip from that very sprinting trick tutorial. We use that to get loose, and then we use two ball rolls to finish them off in the final stage to get the right angle for the goal there. And we're gonna bother to play right here all the way from the defense. Nice pass to play, ball gets to Ronaldo. Look at the space at Bill. We have to give him the ball back, and then we're gonna use the burber spin, pass it back into Ronaldo, and that should be a goal. That is a goal. 3 to 0, 31st minute. The next opponent who is gonna leave. So the first division two match turned out to be really easy. And the last match already from this episode again against FC Barcelona again. Division two match, and that's an easy tap in for Benzema in the third minute. After Modric actually did a very bad shot from there. That was a terrible shot actually with Modric, but luckily that ball ended up at Benzema. We do again the scoop, not the 180 degree one here, but actually a 90 degree version. But then Benzema is going to miss from there. Should have passed that across the goal forward to Ronaldo, maybe a shoot there, but you do get the corner kick. And this is actually also a clip from that very tutorial. We do the dummy to sprinting trick combination and again 180 degree scoop turn right there with Ronaldo to get the 2 to nil in there. Still before half time, an opportunity for a counter attack. We give the ball to Benzema and the first touch acceleration then the sprinting trick right there again pass it into Danilo he shoots it in at the inside of the far post 3 to nil, and that means the opponent is again gonna rage quit so that is already the end of this episode guys we got 50 wins in a row already we are in division 2 one more episode and we will be in division 1 that is the end of this episode guys I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet my name is Tutti see you next time